seventh graders. Look, my camera's working again. Sorry I missed you yesterday. I'm sure you were all devastated, um, but I'm back and that's what's important. <laughs> okay. Okay. I have a sty on my eye, but I don't think you can see it from here. Um, I probably shouldn't have told you that. Let me see. Can you a little bit. My eye looks swollen. Stop talking about your eye, Mr. Higgins. You have a lesson, sort of, that you're supposed to be doing. Uh, you probably noticed yesterday that we changed gears. Uh, we're still focused on terrorism, but now we're learning a little bit about um, our country's relationship with a man named Osama bin Laden. He used to be the head of Al-Qaeda, the organization responsible for attacking our country on September 11, 2001. Um, so you're going to read a little bit about him and uh, and the history of that organization with the United States, that terrorist organization. Yesterday I went to Clark Lane um, and I brought the dogs because I pretty much bring them everywhere with me now. And uh, and while I was working yesterday, look, there's Rory under my desk and he just sat there for hours while I worked and it was like the best thing in the world. And it makes me wish that I could bring Rory to school every day, um, even when students are there so he could just sit there and we could enjoy each other's company. Oh, man, the, the only good thing about this whole thing is the dog. It's so nice to spend time with him. And that other dog I have, whose name I can't remember, LP, that's it, LP. Uh, we have a game meet scheduled tomorrow for 1 p.m. If you have an idea for a game, shoot me an email. If not, I'll come up with an idea. Um, this is an important announcement, locker pickup. So the custodians, and I think this is more Mr. Sachs, emptied out every single locker at Clark Lane, put everything that was in there in an individual bag and, and, and put people's names on the bags. Um, if you are in seventh grade, tomorrow the pickup is, uh, tomorrow is your pickup time. And you should have received an email, your parents should have, um, about exactly what time you can go to Clark Lane. But if you left anything in your locker that you want, like photos or, you know, like great nurse, you can like check yourself out. Um, go to Clark Lane and pick it up tomorrow, seventh graders in Faith Eldridge. I took all of the stuff you left in my room and uh, and I brought it down into the foyer as well. It's in two bags with your name on it. Um, I couldn't find your locker stuff, so it's just with the other seventh grade stuff. But there's a pair of boots in there that are pretty cool, so you should totally go and pick up your stuff, Faith. Sorry to be talking to just Faith during our video lesson. If anyone else feels like they might have left stuff in my room or if I find stuff, I'm going to go back there today and do one last sweep. Um, I will also bring that down, and uh, I'll shoot you an email to let you know to look out for uh, an additional bag of stuff. Um, guys, we're not going to do lunch on Friday this week. Uh, we'll do the game meet tomorrow, but then uh, next week when we have like a few days left of school, I thought it would be fun to do it then. So um, we're going to do a special lunch next week, uh, probably do a couple of them. One will be uh, for the slideshow and one will be uh, where we show old pictures of ourselves and we'll explain more about that when we get closer to it. Your workload for today, guys. Fact check number three is due tomorrow. That is your last fact check of seventh grade. It bums me out. Um, you have a virtual map quiz on Eastern Asia, the last few countries in the world that we have to study. Um, practice those today because tomorrow's post quiz day. But if you turn it in on Friday, that's fine. And the next few days um, after you turn in all your work, it's just time for you to either relax or, you know, mm, turn in anything you missed, revise anything you're unhappy about, so on and so forth. Okay, guys, that's it. I hope you have a great day and I will see you tomorrow.